Hey guys, Constable Outdoorsman here. Um, we're back at camp. It's late at night. And uh, I want to kind of walk you through a little recipe that I have. It's called for Bannock. Now, I've had a lot of people tell me that my Bannock's one of the best ones they've ever had. So I'm going to kind of walk you through it. So I use this all purpose flour. Ta da! There's my Bannock post. Alright, then you use, I use about two cups of, bake, of, of flour and two tablespoons of baking powder. Don't use soda. Baking powder, okay? And then about a little uh, teaspoon of salt, throw in there, and then about two golf ball size of um, brown sugar, okay? And you can, from that point, you can add whatever you wanted to. Then I take just a little bit of oil and throw in there just for a fat. Then I take water and I begin to mix it. A little bit at a time. Gives the consistency. Um, I like it a little bit thicker than pancake batter. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in a lightly oiled pan and we're going to stick it on the fire. Now what's going to happen is it's going to brown up on the bottom. It's going to crisp and cut, it cook halfway through. Um, you can make it into like a, like a bread, stuff like that. But the deal with Bannock, it's a Canadian bread. And, uh, yeah, we got the Canadian in the background there. Don't you know it? Hey. Yep. And you're only, you're never allowed to cut Bannock. Like with a fork or, I mean, with a knife or anything. you got to break it. And you always break it with friends, and that's the whole point of it. So we got Trevor Levac up here. And Levick, Levick, Levacois, however you want to say his last name. Levac. Levac, Levacuum, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that's how I remember Levacuum. So you can kind of see it turning like a dough. I'll get just a scoosh more water. He's over cooking up some deer steaks from the deer he killed and he brought with him. So they've been out for a few days thawing. You want to get that all mixed up real good. Don't care if it's lumpy, dumpy, or whatever. We don't care. So good. And it's got a... And the, the thing about this, it's got a good fat contact to it. So it's going to keep you warm. It's going to stick to your ribs. And it's going to fill you up. And you don't need a whole lot of other calories to go along with it. But like I said, I've been losing weight this week while I've been up here. And uh, been eating pretty good, too. But we're burning it off. I mean, we're setting traps. We're working hard all every day. We're around the woods, you know, eight hours at least, ten a day. So we'll pour that into our into our pan. All right, mix that around. Kind of get it flattened out a little bit. All right. And then what you're gonna do? We're going to take that over here to the fire, and we're going to find a kind of a somewhat level spot, if you will. And there you go. That looks good. We're just going to let that cook. All right. So when we get ready to flip it, well, I'll put it together here and see if we can. Uh, we got you just flip it over, and you cook it, and I'll show you what the product looks like here in the picture in just a minute. Oh, yeah. All right, let's hold on. We got some old guys going. Look at there. Flipping the old taters. Got the old flip going. Yee. All right. There's some old deer steaks. Where'd they go? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're, they're in there. They're oh, in there the they are. All right. Well, hey. Mmm. Oh. Look at that bloody goodness. Yeah, buddy. A little good venison mm. there. Well, you can see me. I'm the consummate outdoorsman out here, and it's uh, Tuesday, I think. I don't know. But uh, we just looked at the weather. We heard from some of the locals, and we turned the radio on that we have, and and it was supposed to get some weather coming into us. But it's supposed to get down to about 27. It got it was that it was that cold last night. So, all right, we'll take you guys later on.